Hello, it's the girl of Chilling Yona, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you are new here, then welcome. Go ahead to the subscribe button and the bell button, all notifications to get notified when I go live, when I post a new post, or when I upload a new video. Now, today I had a follower on Instagram send me this video, and it's this is a video of a white man going at it towards a native man and a native man basically quote unquote clapping back at him and i find this very interesting because throughout the years we're seeing more and more native and white people go toe to toe with each other's origins and now um, I don't really necessarily agree with the pale man because he's giving a lot of colonizer rare tick, which I'm going to get into here in a moment. But also here, this native man that we see on the screen, I think it's funny because this pale man in the, in the video, he mentions that, oh, I knew you would do something like this when the native man claimed to be native. So that lets me know that they are aware to the pathology of these natives or mixed natives or white natives or whatever you want to call them when it comes to identity. So that just kind of like let me in on a little secret that they have going on with their interrelations. They know that white people are quick to claim indigenous American ancestry and claim to be going through oppression and blah, 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 when we know that they are the colonizers to begin with. And they're just having this victim mentality to deflect from taking accountability for their racist actions. Quick PSA, be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram and join my Patreon account if you want more genealogy advice and where to look for ancestral documents. Okay, let's continue. And so this is the pathology between white Americans and Native Americans because they ultimately feel like they're not the same. They don't have the same battles, but yet it, indeed they do. Plenty of white people have been adopted into American Indian nations, resulting in the disenrollment of darker Aboriginal people in American Indian tribes. And see, a lot of Native people know that they benefit from being really, really light complexion and having the long black hair because they know that uh, the system that we are under caters to that phenotype, caters to those features. And the more Aboriginal you look, the more uh quote unquote negro features you have the more you are going to be labeled as african and outcast in society because again america and literally the whole world uh goes off on a caste system based on skin complexion and how close you are to whiteness and i don't i think a lot of people actually underestimate this because when we look at these tribes we see a lot of pale people parading around as native people and you're going to see here in the video the the white man was kind of hinting at that because he was like i knew you was going to pull this so that let me know that they peep game when other pale people are trying to claim aboriginal ancestry and this is why it's so important for us to do our due diligence and stop trying to claim that everybody's family everybody black everybody aboriginal because everybody is not aboriginal and Pale people are aware of this, and that's why they're always trying to get their hand in a piece of the pie, because ultimately, they know that they have to pay out, but they're not going to pay out unless the white Indians are getting it or the mixed Indians are getting it. They don't want to make, they don't want the aboriginals to get it, but they will make sure that their um, mixed blood descendants do. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show these videos, and I'll come back with later commentary. I am not white. Yeah. I knew this dude would eventually claim this, so I really have been looking forward to saying this to this man, but hey, colonizer, how are you doing? If you believe that you are purebred, if you believe that you don't have some colonizer in you, you're an idiot. I mean, you are a true moron. I challenge you to take a DNA test just to check, uh, but it's a weird flex anyway. It hey, colonizer. First of all, I don't owe you a damn thing because I know who I am. I know my language. I know my heritage. I know our traditions. I know my culture. I know my great 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 grandparents who were born and died here. And they were returned to the land here. Where were yours? But please, continue. 
As a newsflash, less than 100 years ago, we were putting Italian Americans in internment camps. We put Japanese Americans in internment camps before, too. We as a people, we as a people, have treated each other rather poorly over the history of our country, and we have found a way to get the fuck over it. Ah, uh, yes, the white people were oppressed, too. Valid? Sure. And it stopped. They were not persecuted because of their race after that happened. They are currently not being persecuted because of their race right now. And do you know why? Because the system is built upon the concepts of white supremacy. They are currently benefiting from that system today. Then you go on and tell me to get over it. Why? Why do you want to forget so bad? Have you learned from the atrocities and the genocide of indigenous peoples? How are you as an individual today disrupting white supremacy and dismantling racism? Because I guarantee you're not. Instead of listening to me, empathizing with me and my community, you decide to get on social media and try to bash me for some strange reason. Check out my most recent post and then tell me to try to get over it. Because all you're doing right there and saying that is trying to gaslight me and my community when we are still being affected by this systematic, racist government and entity. Look up what we went through when it came down to the boarding schools and residential schools. If you want to talk about internment camps, look that up. Our culture is still facing genocide today, and you want to try to tell me to get over it. How ignorant of you. Land. And y'all stole it from the aboriginals. You stole it through all, all, all of history. Land gets stolen. It's how it works. It's the way it works. Okay. Now, now we got a guy right here, right now, telling y'all. Was black people here already? Black people were already, already here. To the uh, northern states here, they they were indigenous. They come over on the land bridge like everybody else. <laughs> the uh, American Indian, the Native American, which I'm Native American Indian, they were they enslaved most of the black people here. And then so them black when, people was already here before when slavery. The Europeans come over. They took the slaves from the Indians. So no, just to be clear, the black people was here before slavery. Black, black people were here before slavery, <laughs> just like American Indians. You know, Native and look, Americans. And I'm a, and I'm a, and I'm a child that was a lot to digest with those three videos but first and foremost i want to discuss the first video of the pale men and the native men kind of going back and forth and ultimately this is what's going on y'all for the first time in a long time aboriginal people we're able to see this happen firsthand we have a front row seat and what actually happens between the relations of natives and European people. And I want to point out that in the first video, the European and the native, they look exactly alike. Now, some of y'all may disagree, but baby, them lips, okay, the nose, the skin tone, all similar, honey, all similar. No lips, same nose, same skin tone yeah those are the same people because how is it that when race is discussed people mainly want to talk about what aboriginals look like oh well you can't claim to be indigenous because you're too dark your nose is blah 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 but i just think it's funny how this native man and this european man look exactly alike but yet people are still going to be determined and still feel obligated to call the the slightly tanner uh, European native. And this is the issue that I have with how people identify with indigenousness because ultimately people think that being Indian is because you get a tribal card and that's just not the case. Anybody can get a tribal card these days. So for anybody claiming to be indigenous with a tribal card, that doesn't mean anything to me. And although that this pale man was calling him out for being a colonizer, the white man was giving out a lot of colonizer rhetoric. Oh, if you're 
indigenous well i don't take a dna ancestry test and blah 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 and again this is the same narrative these are the same things natives say to us when we claim our aboriginal identity right they always want to say oh well you're mixed you're not native take a dna ancestry test you don't want to take a dna ancestry test because you hate yourself because you're a self-hating african and blah 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 but yet when the white man tells them to take a dna ancestry test they'd be like i don't gotta prove nothing to you i don't gotta prove nothing to you like you're just you're just so weird like no i don't have to do that i know my great 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 grandparents like child please don't sit here and be claiming like you know yourself and you're settled in your identity when you use the same method to try and intimidate and to deter Aboriginal people from claiming their Aboriginal identity. And I'm not saying that this man directly does it because, again, I don't really know him and I haven't really been on his page. And I'm pretty sure he has because he seems like he has the mentality of one of those natives that feel like they have to come out and talk ish about Aboriginal people. Because that's a popular thing to do. It's popular to talk down on Aboriginal people claiming their identity because this is people just get a rise out of it. So I don't fully know if he has or he has not. I'm not going to go through all the posts he has on Instagram and comments. I'm not doing all that. If I do come across one, I will speak about it later. But ultimately, um, this man looks European to the core. And this is why we call natives eurasian because a lot of native people have european and asian admixture and although they claim that they have ties to this land it has to be through the bloodline of an aboriginal person and a lot of people are not aware that aboriginal people on these reservations were getting bleached out by bleaching policies europeans were uh, infiltrating our tribes and adopting other races of people into our tribes and in enforcing bleaching policies on our people. And this is the result. We have mixed people coming into the mix and trying to say that they their original people and then white people have to bring them down a notch and remind them that they are the mixed ones and that they actually stole the land from the Aboriginal people. Or should I say they too had a hand in still the land of Aboriginal people because we cannot let pale people off the hook just because they're coming back and forth with the uh, natives talking about how they stole land from us and they're, and they're not the original people. However, the pale people, they stole land from us too and still are. So they in the same boat in my eyes. Because ultimately what we're seeing here is that Europeans are tired of going on with the narrative that these Eurasian people were the only people here. They tired of giving them a, a payout and for them to turn right around and claim that they're being oppressed and stuff like that. They tired of going through stuff like that. And ultimately, they know that Aboriginal people, us, we're coming out more and speaking out about our Aboriginal identity. And to them, they just feel like they should just count their losses. You might as well just you know, come to Aboriginal people and tell it like it is instead of trying to hide and deny things because ultimately white people now, they know that their hands are tied. They know that they have been going around calling people Negro and trying to call us Africans for the longest, even though that we are Aboriginal indigenous people. And yet they came over here straight off the boat calling us African and Negro and all this other stuff. It's coming back to bite them in the batuti. Because let me tell y'all, when I speak to white people about my identity, some of them just be like, oh, okay. And then others be like, oh, are you sure? And be trying to play that whole semantics game. And I'm like, first of all, let me correct you on something first and foremost. It was y'all that implemented the whole uh racial classifications in the caste system so don't come here trying to tell me about my identity based off on something that you created and that's why i don't you know fully subscribe to what that pale man was saying because he was giving a lot of colonizer rare taken narratives because the whole dna history testing the whole everybody mixing the whole um asian americans were persecuted and all this other stuff they say things like that to deflect from the uh 
travesties and the chaos they have inflicted onto other indigenous people around the world. And I just think it's crazy how the white man was like, oh, well, you know, Asian Americans and Italian Americans. I mean, you mean to tell me the things that your people was putting other people through, right? You, because your people was putting Asian Americans and Italian Americans in that position, not nobody else. So how are you going to come at somebody else talking about oppression when you inflicted that not only onto Aboriginal people, but onto other races of people as well? So it's like, you know, you are admitting to your colonizers antics, but your feelings are so hurt. So you have to resort to colonizer antics. <laughs> and see, this is just all unfolding and i want aboriginal people i want y'all to stay out of these topics and stay out of fights like this don't become to the aid and the defense of native people because where have they been at when our aboriginal rights were taken from us and we were being disenrolled and being uh persecuted and outcasted because we were just simply darker and had negro futures even though we were aboriginal americans like, where was all that smoke? And see, this is why I don't have a lot of respect for Native people, because when it comes to us, they have all this smoke. They they can sit here and go back and forth, calling us self-hating Africans, calling us the N-words, and calling us monkeys and apes. But when the pale people remind them who they are, then they want to get quiet. They don't want to you know, go back and forth and blah, blah, blah. Like, nah, keep that same energy like you have with us. Because what we're seeing here is that Europeans are tired of Native people and they're looking for a way to increase them pockets. And that's why they keep coming out with these pipelines. We, we had a Dakota pipeline and now we have what's so a temp pipeline going on because right now they have this energy link pipeline that they're trying to put on what's so in territory. And I see a lot of Native people arguing and yelling about that. And I want to show y'all this clip right here. And this lets me know everything I need to know about white and Native relations. Belongs to the Gidimden clan. Okay. And I've, okay. Been, I've been told this is part of the injunction. Okay. It's not. Okay. okay. So are you going to stop coastal gassing from destroying private property? I'm not, not going to stop work right now. And no. it's clear that the RCMP are only here to uphold CGL's work plan to destroy our territories. I'm sorry, you feel that way? That's it's not what I just what I feel, it's a fact. You're entitled to your opinion. They don't care about public safety. They want to escort a company through to destroy life. That's their job. They are going to continue working. Under whose orders? Coastal gas links? I am just informing you that I'm going to step aside. And I'm informing you that this is illegal under your own law. It's illegal and to it will be investigated. destroy private property and then steal it. And you're going to watch them do it. There's lie after lie after lie that you aren't being held accountable for. And this has to stop. You've now destroyed over $10,000 worth of our private property. Look at it. We have cultural plans for all of this space and these buildings here. And now it's destroyed just because somebody told you that they think that there's a permit here, which is not true. Now, disclaimer, I don't agree with the pipeline being put through the territory. I think they should just leave it alone because we know how pipelines do the environment and we don't need no more environmental problems as it is they keep talking about global warming it's like baby you, you just gonna keep warming to ride up with these pipelines okay but um to get back on topic this woman looks like a pale woman to me and that's probably the reason why those uh, officers and those other people who are doing the pipeline didn't really pay no attention to her because they are seeing her as another white woman instead of an aboriginal woman and see she kind of told on herself when she said that you said that you may have a permit to put a pipeline on the territory she said something like that along the lines so that lets me know that either someone from the inside gave them permission to do it the united states are asserting dominance and wanting to take back this territory because they know 
in the future, aboriginals will go to the government to reclaim their land and they got to give it back anyway. Or just third, they never really owned the land to begin with. And honestly, it could be all three. We don't really know. But in my theory, I think that they're denying these native tribal members access to, quote unquote, their own territory because they know it's a matter of time before aboriginals start really going to court and getting that land back. So they have to play the bad guy card because either way it go, they're going to have to play the bad guy card because they're going to have to take land from someone and give it back to us. And natives know this, white people know this, foreigners know this, but the only people that don't know this is Aboriginal people. So let me know what y'all guys think in the comment section. Thank you so much for supporting my channel and on to the next time. Bye.